that lovely sunlight coming through this morning. It is a sunny Saturday this morning and we're just getting ready to head out to a nice little family walk. We've got up early and we're going to go to um, Macclesfield Forest which if you're all uh, local to the area you will know it's the most beautiful woodland walk ever. The trees and everything, oh, honestly I sound like tree hugger but Trust me, if you want a nice woodland walk, South Manchester. It is possibly one of the most beautiful walks I've ever done. But anyway, that's the plan today. We, well, this morning, and then we're gonna have a chill day at home. We've got, um, well, I say chill day at home. Tom has uh, got plans this evening, this afternoon evening, later on, about five o'clock to go out with some friends in Manchester. So I thought whilst he's doing that later on, we could do uh, a little bit of Halloween decorating, nothing too crazy, just a couple of little things that I wanna pop out. Also, I think on route home from Macclesfield Forest, we're gonna go via a farm shop called Brook House Farm, I think it's called. It's a really cute little farm shop not too far from us that honestly I love. And I think on Sundays, Saturday for me today, but on Sundays they've got a little Baked by Bean, she's called, a little van that parks up outside and she does the best like brookies or brownies cookies, cakes and everything. But yeah, that's I think Sundays. But yeah, the request that I have made for Chef Tom, because he is the one that likes to cook, is some kind of pie. So I'm thinking chicken and mushroom pie with a bit of a seasonal twist which I'll show you later on. Um, and then apart from that, not much else, else planned, just, just a chilled one really. So if you're excited, do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, grab the snacks, light the candles, put your feet up. What drink of choice have you got for today? Is it a hot one? Is it a cold one? Are you watching in the evening, in the morning? Let me know. And without further ado, I'm gonna take this off and get my coat on. Um, and get out in the fresh air, which is the best thing to do first thing of the day. That is my one piece of advice I would give to anyone. Wake up, get outside. So that's what we're gonna do. We said we were the good ones mm -hmm. Like an 18 minute thriller movie mm -hmm. I always knew you always meant it But now we're standing on the bedside too I'm just eating his bacon and egg sandwich outside because it's a bit messy but I've brought mine in here. There's basically the little van right by. If you come to the Trenta Bank, if you are like, oh, I want to do this walk and you haven't before, Trenta Bank Reservoir Car Park is where you start the walk. And then the um, there's obviously like toilets and stuff here and then there's this little man with a van that does, are you ready for this? He does griddled oat cakes. <gasps> Delicious. Last time we came, I got the banana one, but this time I went for savory and I've got cheese. And I am about to tuck into this. Mm. What a breakfast. Mmm. Did you have a nice walk, Barney? He is wet through. He's mucky. 
and it's just how he likes it. He goes down so we can chat to him. Nice. Mm. Oh, the little sausage. No, I'm okay, thank you, but you can have some of this. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this. And then we're going to head to, I can't remember the name of the farm shop, we're going to Brook, Brook House. Brook House Farm Shop, I think. I'll show you when we get there. on accidentally we're back home now i'm just gonna come in this room it's got the tv on in the other room we're back home i came home to quite a few deliveries actually i'll tell you why in a second i hear a little pooch is there a pooch outside i can hear the bit of batter of your feet <laughs> Right, so, oh, I don't know if this is dangerous unboxing this here. Are you staying with me? Yeah? Oh, what's that? A big clump of your fur. Lovely. Anyway, as I was saying, we've got, I came home to loads of deliveries because um, I'm, I've been prepping for my Christmas gift guides, basically, for the last week or so, and, Barney, back up over here. Good boy. Um, so it just means that I've been ordering lots. I've been pretty much doing all of my Christmas shopping because I always say to friends and family, don't watch the gift guide videos because it'll include all your presents. But they're coming probably first week of November. Yeah, early November, I'll say. Um, I'm going to do a gift guide for him, gift guide for her, and then a stocking fillers. And in each one, I'm going to have a range of budgets and I'm also going to include a couple of small businesses within them as well. So that's what I'm going to do this year. So they're going to be pretty chunky, weighty videos, which I'm so excited to film. So yeah, loads of parcels arrived for that. Loads. Four. Four parcels. I've got more on the way. But then I did have a couple of other parcels arrived that I thought I would unbox now. Just two. So we've got one from Papier, which I did also get some other bits for, for my gift guide. So I'll save that for them. But... They um, are a gorgeous stationery brand of which this one, I thought, I don't know, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this as a gift idea, so I thought I would show it to you now. And it's basically this set. You guys know I like to stockpile gift cards, gift wrap, gift bags and things like that downstairs in our basement, in our storage room. I've got a whole dedicated storage bag, which is brilliant by the way, Amazon. I think it's on my Amazon storefront, but um, yeah, it will be. But yeah, I... Thought this would make a lovely little addition in there so it's this as you can see green box with the little gold foiled branding there that just says good times mixed card set for moments worth marking by papier so basically it's a set of gift cards within this box you've got them categorized from birthday i can't read these in the viewfinder what does it say thank you congrats and just because so they're kind of generic some of them say obviously like a happy birthday as well as the fact that obviously you've got these designs it's a good little storage box for things like this i saw on tiktok someone and this is to the extreme but it also made me think oh, could i do that <laughs> so basically she had a kind of like it was like a ring binder style folder, which was dated basically January 1st all the way to December 31st. And each recognizable date that she's got. So for friends and family's birthdays, any occasions. What are you doing, bud? Let's not chase your tail on this rug. No, thank you. No, thank you. Can you see it? And yeah, she had every single card written out already enveloped with address stamp and everything i mean we don't even have to do that but even if you just have the card ready and then you can either buy throughout the year and pop it in that place but for father's days mother's days christmas cards anniversaries just everything 
so that you can literally throughout the year just go through and as and when you've got an occasion you've already got the card ready ready to go and you're not just kind of like buying a card last minute it's kind of one that you've been able to think about and actually pick out so anyway I just am a stationary lover and I had to share with you that okay this next parcel is I, I opened it and I was like okay there's no way that I'm opening this not on camera and it's from a brand called Fall and More it's a small business they are so generous two girls that run it and they very kindly sent me a package in autumn that I unboxed and shared with you guys. They told me they got some new um, orders from that. And as a kind of like, thank you, they just put this in the mail. And I was like, thank you. And yes, I am going to open this on camera because it is full of festive goodies. The red and green. So exciting. My pumpkin front door mat is from them and I can see in here there's a Christmassy one, but yeah, I won't get that out just because you know what it's like, it can go over. Oh, they've also included a discount code for you guys. So Freya 10, if you want to get some money off, then yeah, Katie and Charlotte at Fall and More have given you that offer. So thank you to them. Everything's like individually wrapped as well. It's honestly like a little box of Christmas. This is why I was like, well, I'm gonna have to open it on camera. Oh, sun's coming through. Let me just shut that blind. Ah, that's better. I'm assuming these will be things that you will be able to buy on their website. Whether or not they're available now or not, I don't know. But yeah, definitely check them out. Okay, this is so cute. We've got a little set of four gingerbread coasters. How nice are they? I like the fact that they're actually in the shape of a gingerbread as well love that eco soy wax snap disc like wax melts in christmas tree which is one of my oh, one of my favorite scents at this time of the year as we lead into christmas that kind of pine scent just love it and then what else have we got barney oh my god there's loads oh okay oh A little light up house you guys know i love my little ceramic houses at christmas creating a little christmas scene so it has got a little pull out tab that you can pop it on but i think i'm going to save it for the festive period it's a little house barney can you fit in there what oh thank you oh we've got another big one here Oh, this is a white house oil burner. Cute. Pop your wax melts in there. Now two little lit up trees side by side. How cute are they? They actually look good with the little Christmassy scene. Is that someone at the door? <sighs> it was someone at the door. It was our friends. They just popped in for a drink. But anyway, they've just left. Where was I? I was showing you this package. What else have I got? There's a couple of other bits in here. Uh, oh, this feels like a little board of some kind. Gingerbread cookies and an actual recipe on it. How adorable is that? This feels like a sign. Oh, oh, this kind of like matches. I have these both in the kitchen. You could just like prop up or hang up, but it says, Again, gingerbread cookies, and you've got the whole um, method, equipment, ingredients, and everything on there. That is cute. And then one other item. Oh, this is probably my favorite. I love this. <gasps> this little wooden, like, hanging plaque, hanging sign that just says North Pole Bakery. Finest gingerbread and cookies baked fresh daily. So, so grateful. Anyway, I feel like for the rest of this afternoon, we're going to, I need to do some, um, a little bit of work, but we're going to get cracking with baking the pie. Tom's just going to go on a quick run. I'm going to make myself a coffee, I think. Maybe even a hot chalk. And, um, catch up on last night's goggle box. I feel like we've done enough walking for today. How many steps did we do this morning? It's one of those walks that because it's so hilly, it takes you longer, even though it's only like 5K. Are you going? Yeah. What were you checking then? Checking if they were on or off. Off? Off. 8,000 steps, not too bad. We've done 8,000 steps this morning. But yeah, because it is only 8,000 steps, even though we're out for a lot longer than what we would ordinarily do 8,000 steps in, because of the fact that it's super hilly. Um, 
But yeah, sun's out, but it's raining. And when we were driving back, even we like were caught in a rainbow because it was raining at the same time. And then are we gonna crack on with the pie? Yeah. Because I feel like we could get that in, especially as we, we want to do it before you go. And Tom ran into Lidl on route home just to get a couple of last minute, last bit ingredients. And look, picked up some flowers. Got Saturday kitchen on. And that's what we're doing. I feel like it'd only be right to do a taste test of this. Pumpkin spice, hot chocolate with loads of skirty cream. Oh, that is good actually, really nice. Definitely very spicy, if you like that spiciness. Delish, I have got out some bits in preparation for when Tom gets back from his run. Popped my, my flowers out. Um, so essentially, let me flip you around and show you what I've got. I have this pie dish, which we're gonna use. The recipe might make more, but we might freeze some so that we can have some on another day. But this will be obviously plenty big enough for just the two of us for today. So this is from TK Maxx or HomeSense. And then I've also got this little cookie cutter. I did have a pumpkin one, but it was quite big. And this one already is quite big. But I'm thinking of the um, puff pastry that we're gonna sort of lay on top of using the cookie cutter to cut out a um, leaf shape bit of pastry to just pop in the middle. So I'm gonna do that. And then these also from the garden center that I picked up, these napkins that I thought I would just pop out for a kind of a bit of decor, but also obviously for with our dinner as well. And Barney's just sat watching the rain. It's one of those days today, I know I said it earlier, where it's just sunny, but raining. Kind of like it. Bit of fresh air coming in, haven't we, Barney? This is his towel to dry him off, but he seems to uh, <laughs> seems to have made it into his bed. Anyway, I feel like finally I'm gonna pop my feet up. It's half, oh no, it's already three o'clock nearly, and I, apart from being sat in the car, I haven't sat down yet today. So I'm going to sit down. I'm gonna put my feet up, and I'm gonna pop on Gogglebox, which I said earlier. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it now. And this little treat should keep me going until dinner. <sighs> this is me for the rest of the afternoon and I 
I'm not mad about it, apart from when Tom goes. And then we're gonna pop out just a couple of little halloween -y bits that I've got, nothing major. I did think about going more all out and doing a full decorate for Halloween with me video, but honestly, I feel like when you're not actually, when there's nothing organized, like no specific Halloween party, we don't have kids or anything like that, I think just a few little, little additional touches to our autumn decor that we've already got out will be will be enough this year. And then yeah, I definitely want to get some more pumpkins for the porch as well. I think what we're gonna do is, we were talking about it today, is go to the Holly's Farm Shop, which so many of you guys have also recommended that I go to. I just keep looking at myself in the viewfinder. And I just feel so pale at the minute. I'll just get out one of these coasters. Oh, pumpkin coasters from next. Um, yeah, I need to pop some tan on. But yeah, I think what we're gonna do is go to, Tom's got a bit of a day off on Monday. Not really a day off, but he's got a call at 9 a.m. And then we've decided to kind of take the day to have to ourselves. And the paint is not in on Monday. So we'll have an empty house. And I think we're gonna kind of have a Sunday Monday is what we like to call it. Sunday, which is tomorrow for us. We're probably gonna be getting some work bits done. The paint is in, that kind of thing. But Monday, apart from Tom's 9 a.m. call, we have the day free. So I think we're gonna go over to the Holly's Farm Shop, which, yeah, so many of you have like tagged me in photos and it looks gorgeous. I think they sneak peeked that they've got their Christmas stuff out already or that they're starting to. So that should be fun. And there might be like a pumpkin patch nearby. There's a reclamation yard that we're gonna go to. So hopefully, fingers crossed, if all goes to plan, weather works on, in our favor, then that should be Monday. So I think I'm gonna vlog that for my next video. And I'm thinking about maybe getting some pumpkins for the porch then. So for today, it'll just be uh, whatever I've got in my little decorations box left over from, from autumn. And then anything else left over, I definitely need to donate because I don't need, I basically had about 10 boxes of autumn decor bits. After like going through it and everything, I've whittled it down to everything that's out and then there's two more boxes left. I think after autumn, I'll probably, my aim is to get it down to four boxes. Four boxes of autumn decor I think is plenty. Um, but it's just some of the things take up so much space. Like one of the pumpkins I'm gonna put out today, it's just like a big wicker pumpkin, which is gorgeous, but it takes up an entire box pretty much. It's something so cozy and wholesome about a hot chocolate. Oh no, I've just remembered. <sighs> I'm annoyed at myself now. It's this that I got from the farm shop, which I am gonna have, um, maybe on Halloween I could have this little stir in hot chocolate. They're usually not quite as good as the hotel chocolate ones, but came with it an extra little spare pumpkin marshmallow, so we'll just pop it on here. We had that much left over that we've got two little individuals to bake at some point, although do you think we should freeze them? Yeah. And also the leaf did work. I wasn't sure if it was gonna sink in or not not look like a leaf, but even the little lines that I drew, you can see them. Hold on, let me come around. Gorgeous. Oh no, I love that bit. Taste test on camera. Got into my PJs already. In fact, we both have all though. You're about to get dressed and go out. Don't know how you can do that. Get your PJs on, get comfy, get cozy. And then get out. 
Good? Yeah, it's really good. Oh, good. Good, good. Mmm. <laughs> Two thumbs up from me. Really good. I was just craving this. <laughs> We've made our house a little bit more spooky. My favorite are the bats. Love them. And there are so many left in that packet. I got them from Home Sense, I think. But I know Home Bargains do them. Um, a few other places I've seen them. But yeah, I just think that little touch above that mirror. Love it. And then my little uh, felt candy corn, pumpkin and bat. Little felt, whatever they are, ghosts in my little dough bowl. Anyway, last touch. However, he's asleep. So do I wake him up or do I just... <sighs> so he's actually already had a little sneak peek of this when he opened it from Pet Hamper, which you may have seen on his Instagram. Um, but I've also got this one to go in his toy basket for the rest of this month. These probably won't last that long, to be honest with you. But, you know, if mum's allowed a little seasonal treat of some new Halloween decor every year, then he's allowed a toy. So I've got a little pumpkin spice puppuccino and then, yeah, this is my favourite, obviously, because, you know, aesthetics. He's up! Yay! And then you've got this one, Barney. Apologies for any dogs out there and future me for editing this video who you've also probably worked when Barney up again But anyway, which one do you want? He's gonna try and get both <laughs> Is that your new Halloween toys? Anyway, I feel like guys it's getting dark outside It's been raining all afternoon, which has just been setting the perfect scene for having our chicken pie of which my stomach is absolutely full to the brim right now of that and it was actually delicious tom was saying because of how easy it was to make it's the bbc good food recipe if you wanted to find it it's the chicken leek and mushroom recipe bbc um yeah he was saying how easy it was that he might maybe do it for like christmas eve or boxing day or something when we've got family over just as like an easy throw in the oven type meal but yeah delicious we'll be definitely having that one again and that's gonna probably go ahead and conclude today's vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know 
if you have by giving this video a thumbs up. I will be heading Daft next to Holly Farm pumpkin picking potentially. We'll see what we do. So yeah, stay tuned for that for my next vlog probably. Um, as for the rest of this evening, we're just catching up on last night's Big Brother. Are you watching? Let me know if you are. And yeah, just going to put our feet up. Tom's just gone out, so he's probably going to be back in it several hours. Who knows how long he's going to be out. But I am just so ready to put my feet up. Just chill out. I might even go and take my makeup off as well. And um, enjoy the rest of my evening. So I hope you guys do too, or enjoy the rest of your day watching this in the morning but thank you so so much for watching and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys